Dear students, welcome to the Enterprise Architecture module. This is an introductory part of the module. My name is Marita Kirikova. I come from Riga Technical University, Latvia. The purpose of this introductory part of Enterprise Architecture module is just to give an overview of the field of Enterprise Architecture and we will discuss this on the basis of one of the Enterprise Architecture Framework, which is called Zachman Enterprise Architecture Framework. The representation of the framework is seen here in this blue picture. And if we look at this picture in more detail, then we can see that what we will talk here about mainly are systems, models and diagrams. Now a bit about how the module is organized. Uh, the module is organized in two parts. Also, the video is in two parts. The first part talks about basic terms and basic constituents of enterprise architecture. And the second part talks about variations and the usage of enterprise architecture. Uh, when you study after each part, uh, there will be questions stated uh, which you can answer. And when both uh, questions of both parts are answered, then you can upload the answers into Moodle. The list of questions is available in Moodle. You will see it there. When you have uploaded your answers, then you can expect that we will check them. And if they will be satisfactory, you will receive the information that you have passed this module. If there will be some problems, then we will discuss where they are until your answers are satisfactory. And now let us proceed to the first part of the introductory part of Enterprise Architecture module. We will start just with some basic abbreviations, which will be used through the module. So the first one is EA, which stays for Enterprise Architecture. And here we define the Enterprise Architecture as a system of artifacts that represents multidimensional, explicit, knowledge about the enterprise as a system from different perspectives at several levels of detail. Next abbreviation is EAF, which is Enterprise Architecture Framework. And the Enterprise Architecture Framework shows the upper structure of the system of artifacts reflecting the enterprise or better say the knowledge about the enterprise. There are several well-known enterprise architecture frameworks, but in this module, we mainly will consider only Zachman's enterprise architecture framework. And the third abbreviation is ADM, which stays for Enterprise Development Method. Uh, the Enterprise Development Method gives an advice how to develop enterprise architecture. And usually each enterprise architecture framework has its own enterprise architecture development method. So what is enterprise? Naturally, enterprise is a social technical system which has been established to provide a particular value for individuals, for groups, or for society as a whole. And from this standpoint, we can say that enterprise is almost everything which is established for this purpose, like, for example, it can be factory, which produces cars. It can be some music event for entertaining people. It can be school for giving an opportunity for people to study. Or this can be smaller scale enterprise, like study program at Riga Technical University. Another question, what is architecture? If we are looking at the pictures here, then we can think of architecture as a synthesis of art and engineering as it creates combinations of systems that form the environment in which particular activities take place. And when we are speaking about architecture from the point of view of buildings, this is something that is very well visible. But when we are speaking about architecture from the point of internal activities at different enterprises, then it is not so easy to be visualized. And for this, we put a specific effort, which is building an enterprise architecture. Here you can see uh, one of the enterprise architecture frameworks, which is, which is another framework. It is FEAF 
framework of enterprise architecture. So we can say that enterprise architecture is a combination of systems that form the environment in which enterprise activities take place. And to show it, to visualize it, we usually represent the enterprise architecture by different artifacts that explicitly reflect knowledge about the enterprise. And the most common types of these enterprise architecture artifacts, uh, or other word it is products of enterprise architecture are diagrams, lists, matrices, and also there can be used some other uh, documents which are useful for representing the knowledge. So now let us have a bit closer look at one of the enterprise architecture frameworks, which is Zachman framework. Here in the middle, there are artifacts of enterprise architecture. And we can see that these artifacts can be classified according to why things happen, how they happen, what is involved in these activities which happen in the company, uh, who is involved in them, where they happen and when. And also we can see that we can represent this knowledge from different perspectives. And here you can see contextual, conceptual, logical, physical and detailed perspective. To understand it better, we now will consider a small enterprise, which is enterprise architecture module for the Colibri. And in particular, we will speak about introductory of enterprise architecture. Let us discuss just a few artifacts. We will see goals, we will see processes, and we will see entity relationships, which is data used in the, comp in, in the company, or in the enterprise, better to say. So, let us start with our entity relationship diagram, which represents different data objects. Like we have here video material, you will have also PowerPoint slides, you will have list of questions and also list of questions and answers when you have put answers to the questions already. So we also can represent the way how we have to work. So for example, when you are listening Enterprise Architecture Introductory Part 1, uh, then you can prepare answers for the Part 1 when you have done this and you use a list of questions here. And um, you can use also Enterprise Introductory PowerPoint slides in this. Then you can proceed to the part two and uh, answer questions for the part two. And with, when it is done, you upload these questions into the Moodle. So we have shown data, we have shown small, simple process, and we have shown also the purpose of this introductory um, part of Enterprise Architecture module. What is important in Enterprise Architecture is that these elements of different diagrams, because each of, each of these is a diagram, the elements of these diagrams are related, like this, so we can see that list of questions and answers refers to two elements here. And uh, here we see that this element is used there and so on. And the purpose of the process is shown here. So this is simple way how to represent enterprise architecture for our small enterprise in which we are currently. Here you can see real life example of enterprise architecture framework uh, artifacts, which are for another system. Now we have reached the end of the 
first part of the introductory part and you can proceed to the answering of questions. Please go to the questions list and try to answer these questions. When this is done, then you will be able to proceed to the next part of the introductory part of Enterprise Architecture module.